Hey, what's going on? How you doing today? Okay, um, I'm over here at the uh, um, house with the uh, siding, the gables, and uh, there wasn't enough siding for to finish the two gable ends. So we're gonna decide uh, to do something else, which I think is gonna look pretty good. But first, I don't know if you can hear it, but these two trees in the front, they are buzzing with the bees. Tons of them. It's gotta be a few hundred in there because I can hear the the tree actually vibrating. Like, really, really, uh, there's a lot of bees in there. So let's not disturb them. But I, I don't know if you can hear it. They're all up in there. Oh. I'm getting dive bombed a little bit. We're just gonna make sure that we don't disturb them because there's a lot. I can, I, I thought it was uh, some kind of machine or something, but uh, no, these two trees are buzzing. Anyway, let me show you. What we got here, the uh, one by four, I think those are one by threes, or one by two, and the small one bys. And what we're gonna do is, let me show you the front here without disturbing the bees. We took care of this with that cedar shake style siding, but we just didn't have enough to do the two gables. So that uh, batten, we're gonna put them up here. And then the reason, the reason for the siding was um, because he really didn't want it paint or anything like that. But uh, we didn't have enough siding, so we're just gonna do the batten style. Put a little freeze board or trim board up north. We call it, sometimes we call it freeze board or trim board, um, depending where you are. Um, it's basically a trim board. So we're gonna just decorate this a little bit and then come back and then we'll paint it. Um, but yeah, all the soffit is done. Fascia, I think I showed you on the last video. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of painting. So she's all set, looking pretty good. All right, let me, uh, let me get set up. It's fixing the rain, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna work until it rains. So, we'll see how far we get. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Well. Okay, had to shut the music off. We're getting rained on. Let me show you real quick what I got done so far. You know, the rain. Uh, th there's one nail behind the behind there that uh, kind of curled up, hit something. But uh, yeah, it's raining, so we have to stop here. But it looks pretty good. That's what we want. A couple of them that I hit something, and uh, I'm using a. Uh, I think it's a 16 gauge, uh, one and a half and two inch uh, brad nailers. But yeah, we're getting rained on. Tomorrow's another day. See you tomorrow. Next day, sunny and beautiful. It's supposed to be a high 70s, well, mid 70s, to be more exact. Mid 70s, so it's gonna be a hot one. Uh, yesterday we got rained on. So today, well, first order of business, I had to take care of a hornet. I keep a can of a um, hornet spray, and uh, so, uh, she was dive bombing me and uh so right now i'm just fixing a couple of the nails because it was just like started raining and uh, uh just drain a couple things out but i wanted to uh talk about this real quick not a sponsor but we have here two two uh exterior window uh 100 waterproof uh seals joints up to two inches wide wow it's paintable now this is uh this is the uh exterior sealant this is really really good stuff okay i use this sometimes on, on inside when this thing here won't crack uh it has premium elect elasticity uh interior exterior this one here um this is the fast dry latex caulk plus silicone so you can paint in after 20 minutes and this is also uh, uh, latex with silicone I think that hornet's mad he's coming back I can hear him anyway so two choices uh, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of both because it's all I got but uh, they both work really really well as long as you have an exterior uh, silicone based paintable silicone uh, that's going to get painted so uh, make sure that you don't put straight silicone and your paint won't stick to it um, but like I said this 230 uh, I've actually uh, used it used it in the inside works really really well prevents cracking and, and all that kind of good stuff superior flexibility and crack proof okay and uh, this is the go-to for windows it's just the uh, dap uh it's a new improved uh caulk plus silicone and you can paint in 20 minutes so that's where we're going to go with that now i got a couple of bent nails because we are going through the hardy board so i'm nailing at probably 90 percent so like for i don't know every uh i might i might get one that'll curl up a little bit so i gotta pull a couple of those straighten up and i got a couple of uh uh, screw holes that I have to patch up and then uh, we'll just get right into it and get this side buttoned up. Okay, cool.
Always the last one. Cut it a little too big. So then, instead of trying to fix it, I'm just gonna cut it no, uh, off another piece, you know? No, no sense of trying to fix this and getting hurt, you know? Last little piece on this side. Let's see. That was a uh, that was a lot of up and down. I still got about eight feet on that side, but they're small and it's lower, so I got the hard stuff uh the the high stuff out of the way. Let's take a look. All right, coming together. This side is all done, and it's getting a little cloudy. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. I'm gonna try and get this side done. This will be pretty easy now. So what I did was. I went from the center, wait till this motorcycle goes by. Hey! <laughs> we got riders. Okay, so what I did was, I measured from the center to the seam of the uh, four foot uh, plywood. I think it's four, four foot there, and from there to there is eight foot. So, four foot sections, okay? And uh, uh, I split that in half. And then I divided that, I kind of like split it in half twice. So I split 48 to 24, and then 24 into 12s. So we got 12. Uh, it roughly minus the three quarters. I went three quarters on this side. So uh, it worked out to in between every one of them was uh, like 10 and a quarter. So that's what it kind of worked out, you know? So, uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot of up and down. All right, let me uh, let me finish this up.
eight. Hey, all right, we got to the end. Let's take a look. I don't know if you can see it because the sun was on me all day. Let's see if we can take a look from over here. Yeah. The trick is to just keep them even and level, you know? And uh, it was a little bit trickier because of the, the board there. Um, normal circumstances you would run it down and then just trim them all you know trim them all at, at the bottom of your you know it's like a barn style you know you just let them run down run down and then you just trim them all at once but this one here I had to trim them as I went along but yeah I love it came out really nice hey thanks for watching uh, the other side I'm not going to show you because it's the same thing um, but yeah, uh, this was uh, pretty cool. I think uh, once we paint it up, and uh, um, I'll give you a, an update on it, um, I think it's going to look pretty good. We're going to have to caulk it. There's going to be uh, some caulking, and then we're going to paint it. And uh, But I love it. I think it looks pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next job. Have a blessed day.